I get it. It's still early days. I think some people literally just got, you know, the opportunity to download this update. But I got to say, man, I've been playing Top Drives for the last couple of hours and I'm really enjoying it. Um, the overall experience of playing Top Drives after this update has been a lot more therapeutic and a lot more smooth. Everything just feels a lot more smooth and I really, really like it. Um, now, first of all, I think that this update brought a lot of quality of life features. I'm not even talking about the new cars per se or the RQ changes. I mean, usually the RQ changes aren't even good things anyway. But, you know, I'm not even like disregard the new cars for a second. I'm just loving the little quality of life changes. I mean, this thing right here, this this FPS love that freaking love that um you know i've been playing on blue stacks and on blue stacks i get to play on 240 frames per second but now i can even play on my ipad and my iphone like i can play on like you know 60 frames per second 120 frames per second it's it's genuinely great um so yeah that's the first thing i'm really enjoying the super super silky frame rate right um whether it be on my you know whether i'm playing on the computer on the PC, on the phone, the iPad, whatever it is, it's great. Number two, uh, today's gonna be a gameplay day video, the first ever gameplay day video of uh, update 20. And one thing that I love so damn much is if you join an event now you only get to see this button after you click play now to be fair in the patch notes it was a little bit ambiguous like I didn't really know where I could have actually searched up and looked for the track sets that is in any given event well let me show you right now if i go into the daily first of all you need to click play but don't click go because in the top left corner it says match info and here it literally tells you every single track set i don't need to go to another device i don't need to whip out my ipad or my iphone go into discord go into a separate channel and look for the right event no everything is done in house now and that is absolutely amazing so yes yeah, so one thing is the fps I, I did not ask for that but that is completely a welcome change uh, and improvement to the game number two this i'm so glad that this feature is finally in like i said it took about five years but we're finally here we now know what the damn track sets are before we can get into an event so gone are the days of being scared uh before joining a brand new event because now we know what we're going to expect so it's it's great. I, I, I actually really like it. So I think one other thing that I feel like, you know, there, there is this is going to be an optimistic video. I've done a lot of videos like literally, you know, the, the thing about making an optimistic video about top drives, which is a bit stressful for a top drives content creator like me, is that I feel like if I praise Hutch and the game too much, people are going to start thinking that, oh, I'm being fake. Oh, they're just paying me to do this, blah, blah. No, the thing is, if you think that I would be fake um for the sake of content then you don't know who i am i am the kind of person in the past that have literally called for hutch employees to be fired so no I, when I, I give credit when credit is due and and obviously i rant when i want to rant like that is me i'm always going to be real okay that's why when i get a freaking epic audi from a pack uh, or a legendary audi you think i'm gonna celebrate and run around like a monkey no i'm not i'm literally going to be genuinely disappointed but then again yeah, and some people just think, um, I know I'm having an existential crisis right now. It's just a short little detour, okay? But sometimes I get a super air and I jump around like a monkey. And then people think that I'm just trying to open. No, because the, the chances are the super air was a 1969 Dodge Charger. It's a car that I freaking love. One thing that you need to remember, guys, is that I'm always going to be real, okay? Um, and that's why, like, I'm always straight up. But anyway, let's get, let's get back into it. Like I said, there's going to be an optimistic video. It's going to be a good video because, like I said, nothing but good things. The fact that they moved the home screen the fact that the home screen before was next to the back button was really annoying because sometimes I would want to click back but then I'm going all the way back to the home screen so now that is next to my profile photo like that is amazing I'm glad that they moved that as well now that we know the freaking track says before we even get into the event that 
is huge that is ridiculous that's amazing that is that is ridiculously amazing that's what i wanted to say so yeah let's just jump into it man we got the daily real quick now this is one of the few dailies that i've actually won a couple of times and i'm kind of hoping to see if i can get that title again i think i've won this daily twice and i think it's been out twice maybe three times or so um you know one other thing uh, which I do hope that they add as a feature in the future. Feature in the future, ooh. Um, is the uh, introduction of MRA. Like, I would like to know uh, a car's MRA. I don't want to go to a different website to go and see what the MRA of a certain car is. Like, it would be absolutely fantastic if I knew the MRA, if it was a legit stat that was in the game. I think that would be really, really cool as well. And obviously, like, everybody wants the sandbox because um, more and more uh, track sets are added into the game, but then these track sets are not added into single player, so it's really hard to test a car on any given track set without a sandbox, especially now when, um, you know, track sets are coming out like crazy. Well, I also think that this is the end of my my pickup. Uh, what is it that pick up an SUV rain? Uh, because that is a Max XL7, and that is a Max SQ. Pike speak now. I do have a max S scooter pike speak as well. Uh, mine is on road spec though, so I don't think it would be able to be in an off road situation. I think it would just be really dumb, and that's a max Eurus. Yeah, yeah, it would be really dumb for me to even bother. But I'm gonna just see who I can beat. Um, that you would give me, you know, the most profit. I want to see about how many three stars I can get. So, yeah, again, we have waterfront. I'm gonna put you there, I'm gonna put you here. Oh, that would be pretty, pretty interesting. I, I think I'll put you for Waterfront, put you for Monaco. I think I'll win those two races, actually. I'll probably lose Monaco Force, whatever the thing is. I'll win Monaco Narrow Streets, and I'll win Monaco Hairpin. I just realized it's almost almost everything is called Monaco, uh, besides Waterfront Drag. Okay, cool. So we take those. Ooh, I think that's going to be a three-star just based off that. Cool, 306. Well, actually, you know what? We barely three start that um but anyway one thing that i do want to talk about because i, I i'm not going to skip the elephant in the room and we, we did get a new mx6 over there but i already have that car maxed in my garage one thing that i do want to address because there's a lot of optimism and i'm giving hudge a lot of praise is the thing about um how not everybody could get the update at the same time um, like I got the update really quickly because if you have blue stacks, then you can get the update really quickly. Um, but then I think some Android players and some iOS players were not able to update until the day after. So while I'm recording this video, I think the iOS update, because when I'm recording this video, my iPad and iPhone, they're already updated to the PL20 or sorry, update 20, right? Um, and that was about half an hour ago. So the update dropped around 10 PM my time yesterday and, um, yeah, about 6 PM my time. So how many? hours is that like 16 hours 17 i don't know man you can do the math uh but basically some people were really 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 frustrated that they couldn't play the game but some people had a head start to me it's not really that big of a con um and that's not because i'm being biased and that's not because i'm being nice to hutch like i said i'm always being honest um, the only reason why it doesn't really bother me too much is because i felt this at a, a worse uh stage the thing is, right, um, for the update, you know, obviously it could have been released better, it could have been planned better, I don't know why or what happened for some people to get the update first and then iOS was taking their time, I think it was because they released the update so late, maybe, I don't, I don't know, late, like late in the day and maybe the app store didn't have time to like register, I don't know, I don't know, that, that's stuff that I don't know, but... Um, one thing that I do have to say is that at least like it seemed like the majority of people were actually not able to update um, and only a few select amount of people were allowed to get into the game like maybe to get a, like a 15 hour head start or something like that. The thing, the way I look at the situation is the majority of people still couldn't play the game. So a lot of you guys were actually suffering in solidarity. You know what I mean? Listen, I've been there. Okay, I know how it feels and it's been worse for me. You guys remember Enter the Black Forest? I literally streamed. I wanted to stream on my YouTube channel my first reaction and first look to Enter the Black Forest. And you guys remember, right? Like I couldn't log in. I couldn't log in to Enter the Black Forest. Everybody else could do it, but I couldn't do it. So I've been in a situation before where literally everybody around me, everyone in my Discord server, they could get into Enter the Black Forest. They were already opening packs. Some of them were getting epics and legendaries already. And I could not play the game. I myself was suffering alone and I could not play the game for almost a day. A day. You guys, every other player had like a 24 hour head start. So what I'm saying is like, 
I know that, you know, you guys, you know, some people getting this update, PL20 or update 20, whatever. I'm calling it PL, okay? I hate it when people say, oh, you shouldn't be saying PL. That's how I'm used to saying it, so I'm going to say it that way. Um, Yeah, it's just really annoying me. So, yeah, I get it that people are annoyed that PL20 came out in advance for more people, uh, for some people, but not for all of us. Um, but what I'm saying is that this issue doesn't bother me as much because I have been in a worse situation, okay? So, I'm just letting it out there. But anyway, let us continue. Um, next one is straight to the mountaintop so i want to do showcase the new match info real quick and as you can see over here i can finally analyze the track sets um so we got one two three four you know one thing that's pretty interesting is that i've seen in the past where we've only gotten two track sets or three track sets i wonder if hutch wants to now that it's so accessible to look at the track sets if there ever is going to be an opportunity where we might get more than four track sets say five or six that might make things a bit too complicated um but at least now we have that um efficiency of looking at the track set anytime we want in-house in the game but anyway right now i can see a couple of drags right a couple of mountain roads we got half we got one mile mountain hill climb fast circuit due to 100 mountain hill climb half mile okay so basically like we want to run some drags up in here so what are we going to be using i mean it looks like you know the bentley exp is a pretty good one to use and you want to save on the twisties so how many twisty track sets can we basically um rely on we got mountain slalom that's where we save points second one kind of tough to save points anywhere on this track set maybe mountain hairpin mountain twisty road mountain slalom we can save points twisty circuit but it's a rolling one mountain slalom again so basically mountain slalom sh shows up three times and i, I think what you really want to do is find the best possible car for mountain slalom i think that's going to be your best bet right now i think i'm going to spread my eggs around is that even the right way to say it uh i'm gonna hedge my bets basically right now i'm just gonna run something kind of you know uh well-rounded we got one legendary one epic and the well-rounded part really comes in with the double suzuki pandas that i'm running over here and we'll just see like how well they do i think this is going to be a solid two star um hopefully it isn't going to be a one star i think it's gonna be a solid two star that ooh, it was even a three that oh we love that also guys one thing that i need to address is I've promised you guys, and I think some of my more astute viewers will remember this, with every gameplay day video that I do, I will indeed, I promise, open a carbon fiber pack. So before the video ends, stay tuned, I will be opening a carbon fiber as well for your enjoyment. Um, it's going to be a vanilla carbon fiber, so it will be all the more merrier if I do get a brand new uh, Asia Pacific car, but if we don't pull one of those, then it is what it is uh because i have decided to open a vanilla carbon fiber so i you know it is what i'm expecting i will get the minimum of what the carbon fiber is going to give to me basically uh and we'll talk about the new store ui as well like i said in yesterday's video it's just an easier way uh or a nicer way for you to spend your money in the game yes that is true but i gotta say it is a lot more user friendly so i do appreciate that and anyway it looks like this hand is is, is going pretty decently so so far um so i might just stick with this running the uh you know the pair of suzuki pandas and then using the exp i i use my bentley exp literally all the damn time it is up there with legendaries that i unironically want to max and it's pretty crazy considering that when it first came out i used to give it so much you know anguish and so much you know just trash talk and it's it's crazy because it's one of the few cars that has genuinely proved me wrong it is so 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 strong and uh yeah you know like i said i've apologized a million times to the exp and all of its uh, owners and all of its believers um it's it is, is a fantastic car fan fantastic car um but yeah i, I use that oh we lost that and that's a pretty heavy one you know what maybe i should not have put in that suzuki on the drag i don't think that was very smart i was thinking that i was able to win enough races um that you know i could have tanked the big loss but that loss was a lot bigger than i expected it to be i gotta say that new mx6 by the way i already have it max let me show you my collection real quick so asia uh, pacific grand prix this is what i'm packing as you can see got a few cars max i've maxed the before i've maxed an eclipse max a mitsubishi galan the, the loose luce whatever it is um mitsubishi l200 looking pretty decent four wheel drive center tires always love that i got this max i'm oh, sorry i got that max as you can see over here 685 um i gotta really find out what the mra is on this because 
6585 is actually terrible uh, for an RQ29. 6585. So let me remove this. Remember those numbers, okay? I'm gonna pull out the twin cam real quick. Twin cam. Oh, well, it doesn't show up. All right, I'm just gonna put twin. Uh, yeah, so 6585. This is 5884. So they're both RQ29 handling is very, very similar. The Mazda handles a little bit better, but the 0 to 60 difference between both RQ29 cars is literally 0 0.7 seconds. So I don't know what's up with that, man. The MR in that thing better be amazing. I, I'll probably check it eventually. Um, I don't I don't really want to check it right now, though. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about the carbon fiber and, and the pack in general. So obviously, we have limited. Um, I'm not really interested in opening any of these packs. We have live content. I mean, I'm not opening a Bentley Suzuki pack, let's be honest. I, I don't feel like opening a Highway to the Danger Zone, you know, Top Gun pack. Um, I don't know why it's a Top Gun reference. Is there are no American cars in there anyway. Um, and yeah, I don't want to open this pack. Although, you know, it's cheaper than a vanilla carbon fiber. Although it gets you 20k. Although it gets you 10 slots. The pack sucks. Um, I've never done a what you can get from that pack review of this pack, but I don't want anything from it. I have the best cars from that pack already, and what I don't own, I do not want. So, nice and simple, man. I'm just gonna be opening a vanilla carbon fiber. So, three, two, one, let's get it. Hopefully, we get something cool, something new. New! That is not new, that is Italian Renaissance. New! That is not, that is great exhibition. New! That is not, that is, what is this? American dream, I almost at frontier. I think this is dream. New, JPT. No, all right, this is uh, World Expo. New! I'm not mad. <laughs> That's American dream, I'm not mad. That is a ridiculously amazing pull. Um, one of the best epics, um, in my opinion, because I am an American collector, so I do have that extra bias, so I'm, I'm not complaining. That is, you know, it's not something new, but that was way better than my epic pack. Now, if you guys did, didn't recall, because I didn't put it in the thumbnail or anything, you would have had to watch the video to know that that actually happened. When was there a challenge going on? Is there anything here? I, oh, that, okay, let's get another 5K. Um, you would have had to watch the video in full to know that I did open an epic pack from the challenge gt series you know using the the hexagons whatever they are uh, i got a 68 subaru that it was garbage i was hoping to get a brand new update car uh but that just wasn't the case 5k thank you very much cool nice all right um one more event and then we get that second lancia stratus i mean one more day and then we get that uh, second lancia stratus for tomorrow I don't really care about that honestly i have it already i have it max i don't really use it that much um i would do danger zone so this is what i'm currently using um i think it's a pretty decent hand it's really just down to you know who has um what you call it who has their audi max more like uh, a who has the audi r18 and number two who has it max more uh, but that's that's literally it so yeah i've got some wins over here some win conditions there we're gonna lose canyon we're gonna lose runway loop but i should be able to win the last three races i don't really want to watch all but maybe you know what let's watch it all let's celebrate this you know high fps gameplay um 63 okay so that's 152 i will need to win by more than 150 um all right that's only 50 so i cannot afford to just win by you know 350s i, I actually need a little bit more than that oh oh you know, the saddest thing is, is that my K-Man is actually upgraded in handling as well. Like, it's not just a one... Okay. Okay. Um, I was not expecting that loss. That is very, very surprising. I will be very, very, very surprising. Um, okay, but anyway, North Loop, uh, we got a city tour... Um, I'm gonna put you on the runway and then we have now that's definitely three win conditions right there But okay, I was not expect wow that BMW is really it's banging wow Okay, well we do take those in the end the 192 the 117 But I guess you know what at the end of the day it ain't a oh no, that's an old monster So I'm not interested about that. It's not a classic uh, Gameplay day video if I'm not messing up somewhere along the line I don't know if I'm able to win this one. Oh, you know what it is. It's lumber mill it's not the forest lot. Yeah, it's lumber mill. So that basically isn't even off-road anyway. So that's two win conditions over here. I think you win Canyon Tour. Um, and then, yeah, just two L's over there. I don't really care. As long as I win Canyon Tour, I think it should be okay. Unless this Mini Cooper is a, a sleeper in disguise. No, it is not. Yep, came on. Cool beans. We take those. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that for now. But anyway, I'm really happy with how...
of how everything is going. Like, you know, the, the frame rate's great. Uh, I'm a lot more excited to play multiplayer events now because we know what the track sets are. And whenever I want, I can always go back and check and analyze and it will be fantastic and it's great. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Let me know down in the comments below. How are you, you know, now that you have update 20, how does it feel? Do you like it? Are you enjoying it? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to stay safe. Wash your hands. I almost said show your hands. Wash your hands and blossom awesome out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girls every